What's everybody? So today, guys, I'm going to do the list of wrestlers that should be released in WWE. So yes, now I'm not gonna mention Dominic Mysterio, Omos, Jinder Mahal with Saint Godbeer because apparently WWE has has been putting them on TV. Well, I don't know if I've seen Omos last week on TV, but of course it's Shitty McMahon is still running the company. Of course he's gonna push Omos and stupid shitty Dominic bitch ass Mysterio. Of course you can see him in TV in TV with Rhea fucking Ripley on the Judgment Day. So yes and. Uh, uh, Jinder Mahal, and apparently, well, Jinder Mahal is obviously the, is kind of like the manager, is like the manager of Senga and Veer, so yes, the so Senga and Veer are getting pushed, so, yeah, so these three, five wrestlers will not be mentioned in this list, so, yeah, so these are just wrestlers, that start, but I'm only mentioning that should be released, so, yeah, because I think they're jobbers, and they're, they ain't doing shit, I'm trying to save WWE shitty Triple H and shitty McMahon, the roster, so that way they can make space, but of course, she says, and of course I think they're gonna announce uh, mass firings, which I like to call it mass murder releases, mass releases, mass murder releases, mass murder firings. Cause of course that's what Vince McMahon always does. It's like a fucking mass murder when Vince McMahon fucking does it. When WWE does it. So anyways, let's get, let's do this. So yes, first off is Akira Tosawa. Yes, Akira Tosawa's a jobber, and ain't doing shit in the company so yeah same with Aaliyah so yeah Aaliyah should just go away then we have the Angel Garza another guy that's not doing shit Jobber yes Ashante Adonis oh, yeah part of shit role yeah I think he should be released because yeah I mean I think out of all hit role I think he's the only one that's interesting maybe he should be released in Dota maybe he can go to AEW to reunite reunite with Sir Strickland so yeah but I would not Put beef out or shitty top shitty dollar and AEW hell no they can stay away so yeah i could put um adonis with the embassy M M mogul embassy i think that's called mogul embassy yeah I, could, I think he'll fit that better so yeah with source strickland so yes then we have this beef out trash bitch trash garbage <laughs> trash ass wrestler get out of here bitch fat garbage go away we'll talk about shit top dollar later then we have the bray white garbage trash Lame. Bray Wyatt's the same old shit. Don't give a fuck how creative he is. He's just the same old shit. <laughs> Bray Wyatt's trash. Garbage. Dull. Lame. The Fiend was trash and terrible. But, um, Uncle Howdy is edited. Worse. So, yes, so, fuck Bray Wyatt. He should just go away. He should go away from proper wrestling. He should just go away from wrestling. So, yes. Then we have the Cedric Alexander. Man, Cedric Alexander used to be good, man, but of course, it's a shitty McMentry and a jobber. And of course, after the Hurt Business implode, uh, imploded, he was a jobber, and then, well, yeah, the, the Hurt Business came back, but they only came back for, like, a short, <laughs> and then, they were also teasing him bringing the Hurt Business back, but ever since Vince McMahon came in power, nope, <laughs> get it out, throw it all away, so, throw it all away, so, yeah, but, Cedric Alexander, goodbye, brother, goodbye, out of here, then we have his Drew Gulak, eh, lame jobber, whatever, I mean, yeah, he, Drew Gulak used to be good, but, what, it's just... Yeah, it's just whatever. <laughs> yeah, I heard he's in NXT, so what? I don't, I don't give a fuck about NXT. I mean, I don't even watch NXT. NXT is sure. This version of NXT is garbage. So, yes. Um, then we have Emma. Emma did a shittiest mistake for coming to WWE. The worst mistake ever. I get that her, that her boyfriend or her husband, uh, Mad Cat Moss, uh, Riddick Moss, is in WWE. Yeah, in WWE, but. Oh well. Uh, Emma has done shit. So yes, um, Alberto Carrillo, trash, lame, whatever, get him out. <laughs> uh, Lacey Evans, garbage, trash, dull, lame, and apparently she's ripping on Sergeant Slaughter's gimmick. Like, why? <laughs> uh, whatever, um, oh, and apparently I heard that Lacey Evans make fun of mental health or something. That's some fucked up shit, so, yeah, get Lacey Evans out of here, she sucks, she's trash. Then we have Maze, also known as Massey. Lame, get him out, get him out. <laughs> Same with Mansoor, just hit Mansoor. Trash, lame, get him out. Then we have this Mustafa Ali. Yep, after him losing to Gunter. Of course, he lost to Santos Escobar, so. Yeah, but, and Mustafa Ali requested his release. Um, release requested his release years ago. I think he should get his release request now because I think Mustafa Ali should be released and go to another company. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be AW, it could be Impact, uh, it could be NJPW, whatever company Mustafa Ali goes. Um, 
yeah, hopefully he gets way treated than shitty WWE, so yes. Then we have his Apollo Crews, another talented wrestler that just got buried, not even <laughs> going back to NXT help. So, yeah, he's just getting, he just lost to Dominic Shit Stereo. <sighs> Whatever. Then we have his Natalia. Yes, Natalia's just going out after losing to Ripley for like, what, five seconds? It's just embarrassing. And But they might keep her because she's related to Brett, the Hitman Hard. The Hitman Hard. Her uncle's Brett Hard. And her father's Jim D'Ambo Nightheart. So, yeah, but. Uh, yeah, Natalia should just be released. I'm sorry. She's just. Whatever. She's just stale. She's been there for years. She's like a veteran, but she just needs to go now. I mean, there's nothing to do. Nothing to do with her. With Natalia, it's just the same old shit. Yeah, whatever. Get her out. <laughs> then we have Nikki Cross. Lame. Jo I don't know. Nikki Cross just. Whatever. She sucks now. Uh, especially that terrible superhero gimmick. God, that was terrible. Yeah, Nikki Cross. Garbage. Trash. Lame. Yeah, Nikki Cross used to be good in NXT. But now she sucks. Uh, yeah, get her out. Uh, then we have his Piper Nibbin. Yep, another wrestler that's now ruined. So yes, lame, boring, whatever. Piper Nibbin, get her out. Um, next up is Rick Books. Yeah, I think Rick Books is... He's now being a jobber. I think it's time for Rick Books to be released. So that's all I gotta say. Next up is Elias. Man, Elias got stale now. It's just whatever lame. Dull. Lame. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whatever did you they ruin Elias, especially if they give him this twin brother gimmick. Uh Ezekiel. Oh, God, that was garbage. So yeah. Then we have this Riddick Moss. Yes, apparently Riddick Moss former name was Madcap Moss. I mean wait wait wait. Apparently yes. Also known as Matt Kemos, but now he's back to Riddick Moss. Apparently, yeah, but whatever, just Riddick Moss, just, whatever, now a jobber, who cares. Then we have Robert Roode, man, Robert, or should I say Bobby Roode, was better, and NXT, and his heel days was glorious. His heel, he, Bobby Roode was the greatest heel, was the greatest heel in NXT. Now, ever since he came to the main roster as a face, it's just, he's just been watered down, ruined. And yeah, he did turn heel in the main roster, but it was terrible. He was just like a henchman to Baron Corbin along with Dolph Ziggler. It was terrible, man. And yeah, they just whatever. They ruined Robert, Bobby, Robert Roode. Yeah, just garbage lane. Then we have a Shanky. Yeah, where the fuck is Shanky? Apparently Shanky has been replaced by Sanka. Yes, Vader's still there. Jinder Mahal's still there. Yeah, Shanky's <laughs> has been replaced Sanka. Unless they're going to bring Shanky back. But if not, then just release him. I mean, Shanky's just a jobber now. Who cares? Uh, next up is Shelton Benjamin. Man, they ruined Shelton Benjamin, man. They really did. <laughs> After the herd business imploded, Shelton Benjamin is the jobber. Like, who cares? Like, I think Sh Shelton's been disrespected from the WWE. So, yes. So, yeah, but Shelton Benjamin, he should just get released. Uh, next up is Tamina. Uh, yeah, another wrestler that should be released, but another reason why they probably won't research because she's a Samoan. I mean, Tamina's been still now, and yeah, whatever. T Tamina should just be released. Like, just uh, Natalia, she's, she's just been still. And yeah, now Tamina's related to Jimmy Superfly Snuka, who's not only a wrestler, but a murderer. Yes, Jimmy Superfly Snuka, murder of her girlfriend, Nancy Argentino. <sighs> but yeah, man, just. Yeah, but uh, anyways. Tamina, uh, yeah, I think she should just be released, though. She should, she should just go. She's just stale now, lame. Who cares? Like, yeah. Then we have Tegan Knox. Yeah, Tegan Knox. Uh, yeah, she used to be cool, but now it's just. I don't know what happened. We've not seen her. I mean, please don't tell me she's injured again, because if that's getting I think she's just retired, man. Uh, I think Tegan Knox is retired because she's been having these like injuries. And I feel bad that Tegan Knox got injured in that um, May Young classic that, I, that was like five years ago. But damn, that's, that fucking sucks. I mean. But yeah, man, but I don't know, kind of reminds, yeah, but Tegan Knox, man, it's, oh, another wrestler that kind of reminds me that got, like, is Bobby Fish, yes, from his video, apparently he's in Impact Wrestling now, I mean, I don't even know if he's still there or not, he was, Bobby, Bobby Fish was, of course, NXT with, with the Undisputed Era with Adam Cole, and of course, he was in AEW, but for some reason, he got, I think he got injured, and then he came back to Impact, apparently, he, he left AEW to Impact, join Impact Wrestling, and for some reason, I don't even know where he is, but, 
But yeah, but uh, yeah, so I guess those two wrestlers have like leg injuries, but yeah, I don't know what Tegan Knox. I mean, she got injured in, oh well, I think she just called it quits. Yeah, but Tegan Knox, man, talented wrestler, but I feel like that leg injury kind of ruined her career. But yeah, but I think she needs to go. Go. Next up is Titus O'Neil. Man, Titus O'Neil's still in this roster? I mean, I don't hate Titus O'Neil. I like Titus O'Neil, man. Especially that, that, uh, that laugh really is sly that he did in the Grey's Royal Rumble. Holy shit, that was funny as fuck. Yeah, man, I like Titus O'Neil, but... Yeah, apparently I don't know if he's a wrestler, but... Yeah, he's not been wrestling. He's just been catering. He's like the top guy in catering. He has not been wrestling since, like, what, 2020? I don't know if it was Bobby Lashley, I believe. But yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I don't think he's doing wrestling anymore. He's just doing catering. So, I don't know if he should still be released. Eh, I, I don't know. I just... Whatever. But I just put Tyler O'Neill. I mean, I think they should just release him or something. I don't know. I like Tyler O'Neill. I just... I'm trying to save the roster. I'm trying to save stupid Triple H and stupid Vince Commands. Fucking... I'm trying to roster. I'm trying to make him space. But then again, who the fuck wants to join the shitty WWE? Because of shitty McMahon. But anyways... Then we have his top dollar, should say shit dollar, fat dollar, garbage dollar, trash dollar. He should just go. He's trash. He later or botch dollar. <laughs> Michael Cole made fun of this nick of this motherfucker. This motherfucker <laughs> made a botch. <laughs> oh my god. Top dollar should just go away. He's trash. He sucks. Go away, shit dollar, you son of a bitch. And yes, he he's he's a, even though I don't use Twitter, but I heard that he uh he's a piece of sh shit in Twitter. He talks about well, he like blocks people on Twitter. He talks shit like that. Fuck, shut the fuck up, top dollar, you piece of shit. Go, go fuck off. Stay mad, mad dollar, shit dollar. <laughs> Stay mad, boy. You're trash. You're garbage. You're a terrible wrestler. Get, go away, you dollar store. Shook knife. <laughs> you piece of shit. Anyways, let's move on. Then we have about how long. God, this is fucking terrible. This is one of the worst gimmicks ever. Another wrestler that got his her name she was Meech and Mia Yim. But of course, I, I didn't put Mia Yim just for the list because. Aside from her uh, cringy name change, I mean she's okay with the OC and AJ and AJ Styles. Apparently AJ Styles in the field with Karen Cross. So right now she's okay. She's okay for now. But about how long? Oh yeah, they are in a feud. But you know what? I think I think after the feud with um, Alpha Academy, I think they're just gonna be jobbers. Like who gives a fuck about Val Valhalla? Like she's trash. The name is terrible. The name is terrible. Uh, her name change is terrible. Like, why do they have to change her name from Sarah Logan? That's so fucking terrible. And not like that, Sarah Logan coming back to WWE is just stupid. She, he has her name change about Halle. Like, that's one of the most dumbest names ever. Like, I can't believe they name a fucking Asgard Heaven, Asgard Afterlife Heaven or something. Fucking name. And to the tone, this is so stupid. And and also, we should be releases not Eric and Ivar, also known as the Viking Raiders. Yes. The Viking Raiders, sure, they may be talented wrestlers, but they're boring in WWE, I swear. They're just boring. They're lame. They're dull. Same with Valhalla. She's trash. I think Valhalla and Eric and Ivar should just be released. I think they're trash. They're lame. They're garbage. And then we have Sylee. Whatever. Just lame. Dull. Just a jobber. Of course, she didn't make men hates Asians. So, that's, um, so I could definitely see a, a Sylee get budget-cutted. Release from the company, so yes. And last but certainly least, Dolph Ziggler. Just like Nat Natalia. Dolph Ziggler, he's been better. In, and look, I like Dolph. He, he sells well. He's a great wrestler. Um, But he's been stale. And I know he's in a feud with Jordan Devil, but I think after this feud, Ziggler's going to go away. I mean, Ziggler's going to be a jobber. I think Dolph Ziggler should just go away from this company. This company has been treating him shit. Has been treating him like shit. So yes. But anyways, those are the wrestlers that should be really for WWE. So yeah. But anyways... Yes, Shitty McMahon and Shitty Triple H, which, uh, Shitty McMahon will definitely release these wrestlers, uh, when his, um, budget cuts, mass firings, mass murder firings, <laughs> fucking happen, I don't even know when is it gonna be, I thought it was gonna be this April, considering that they always do it in April, except last year, last year they didn't do it, I think, oh, they did late April with the NXT Superstars, they, they did it in 2021 and 2020, so, yeah, I think, the budget cuts. I think it's time for it. So let's see if I get this right. If, if those wrestlers I listen to those lists, let's see if I get them right or not. If they're going to be released. So yeah. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And these are the wrestlers that should be released for the day. But anyways, that's all. That's all.